Here's how sleep apnea leads to brain fog and more importantly, what the heck you can do about it today, right? So here's a brain scan, cool brains. Hopefully I would have a brain on one of those scan. Uh, as you can see, the brain fog positive one, you know, the foggy headedness, hard to remember words. There is more blue over here. This blue represents leakiness in the different membranes of the brain that allows various substances to get into the brain that shouldn't, that will cause inflammation and your brain doesn't work as well. So there's two things to offset this leakiness. One is increasing carbon dioxide in your blood ever so slightly to help with blood flow. The second one is improving nitric oxide, which will help stabilize those leaky parts. Simplest way to fix that, you're gonna inhale for a three count and then hold for a four count that builds up CO2, and then you're going to hum as your exhale mm, for eight seconds that will boost nitric oxide. Do that for like five to 10 minutes. Now that's just one breathing exercise. The more custom it is to you and your needs, the more effective it will be. So for that, all you have to do is click this big red button here, click the shop button down below, or go to the website over my face to get a personalized breathing protocol made just for you.